You have missed your period. You take a pregnancy test. It is positive. Congratulations, right? But there's something you need to know. Not every pregnancy grows in the uterus where it is supposed to be. Sometimes it can grow outside the uterus and this can cost a life. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about ectopic pregnancy. So you may ask, what is an ectopic pregnancy? An ectopic pregnancy happens when a fertilized egg implants outside the uterus. Now, most cases of ectopic pregnancy happen in the fallopian tube, but sometimes it can happen, it can happen in the ovary, the cervix, or even the abdomen. And none of these places can support a growing pregnancy. Now, how do you get an ectopic pregnancy? Sometimes we can't find a clear reason for why an ectopic pregnancy happens, but there are some known risk factors. You are likely to have an ectopic pregnancy if you smoke cigarettes, you are older than 35, you have sexually transmitted infections, you have scarring from previous pelvic surgeries, you have had an ectopic pregnancy in the past, you have had fertility treatment like in vitro fertilization, which is IVF. An ectopic pregnancy can also happen if you get pregnant while having an intrauterine device for birth control. So now you ask, why is ectopic pregnancy so dangerous? The danger is not just only in the fact that it is growing in the wrong place. It is in how silently it can happen. The early signs like mind abdominal pain, light vaginal bleeding don't always seem alarming. But as the pregnancy continues to grow in the wrong place, it continues to stretch the fallopian tube until it bursts. And when this happens, it causes massive internal bleeding. And when the bleeding continues, your body begins to shut down from the blood loss. If the bleeding is not stopped on time, the odds of dying increases. But if it is caught early before it bursts, it rarely leads to death. Now, sometimes the fallopian tube can be damaged so badly that doctors have to remove it. Now, the good news is a woman whose second tube is healthy can still go on to have successful pregnancies in the future. But if the second tube is damaged or absent, future fertility becomes a problem. This is why early detection is important, not just to protect your life, but to also protect your future fertility. So how do you detect the presence of an ectopic pregnancy on time? One of the most important things a woman can do immediately she finds that she's pregnant is to register for antenatal care and get a scan done early. The reason for this is because the gestational sac ruptures between 6 and 16 weeks. Now, some women do urine or blood tests for pregnancy and think this is enough. It is not because this test can only tell you that you are pregnant. They cannot tell you the location of the pregnancy. An ectopic pregnancy will still show positive just like a normal pregnancy. It's only an ultrasound scan that can tell if the pregnancy is in the uterus or outside the uterus. You should know that antenatal care is not just to collect routine drugs. It is to catch silent problems early. And an ectopic pregnancy is one of those silent problems that a pregnant woman can face. So if you experience any unusual abdominal pain or vaginal bleeding, don't just say it is one of those pregnancy things. You should go to a hospital, let a doctor see you and get a scan done to know the reason why you are experiencing those symptoms. 